Israeli public radio says the country has carried out a cyber attack on an Iranian nuclear facility. Citing unidentified intelligence sources, the report on Khan Radio said the Mossad spy agency had carried out a cyber operation at the Natanz nuclear plant, which is key to Iran's uranium enrichment program. It said this caused more extensive damage than is being reported inside Iran. The Natanz site is in central Iran, to the south of Tehran. It's the country's only uranium enrichment site, and Iran has invested money and effort in burying parts of it deep underground, beneath its mountains, to make it difficult to attack from the air. On Saturday, Iran announced that new advanced centrifuges to enrich uranium had just been activated there. This is in a breach of the country's undertakings under the 2015 nuclear deal, which was, you may remember, abandoned by President Trump. And just days after talks aimed at reviving the deal resumed between the new Washington administration and Tehran. Let's get a bit more now from Parham Gubadi from BBC Persian, who's been following the latest developments for us. Parham, what are the Iranian authorities saying about this attack? So this time, unlike the previous attack, last summer Iranian authorities immediately came out and uh, accused Israel being behind this attack. So Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif today, he said that Israel uh, carried out this attack seeking to derail the talks in Vienna. Yesterday, uh, Iranian Atomic Agency's chief said that, called it uh, a a nuclear terrorism. So this time Iranian authorities were immediately coming out and pointing a finger at Israel unlike the previous time. And how would you describe the Iranian stance towards the, that diplomacy, that effort to revive the international deal? So Iran knows that at the moment uh, that you know, it has uh, this uh, nuclear negotiation has some adversaries, some some regional adversaries who are not pleased with the negotiations, such as Israel and the United uh, and uh, Saudi Arabia. Also, within Iran, there are hard, Iranian hardliners who are not at all pleased with this. Like Iranian MPs are coming out one after another, saying that, you see, again we are stabbed in the back while we are showing honesty to the West. So. Technically, Rouhani's administration is fighting two different fronts with Iranian hardliners and regional adversaries who do not want these negotiates, negotiations lead to any fruit. And as we've been making clear, this site is really important to Iran's nuclear right. program. What do we know about the damage that's been done this time? So uh, Iranian authorities, uh, New York Times first published a report saying that, you know, it was an electric blackout. However, Iranian authorities are saying that, yet yeah, some centrifuges were damaged, but we immediately replaced them. But today there were some images of Iranian uh, atomic agency's spokesperson coming out. He's lying in the hospital bed. He's injured. Uh, so he says that both he broke both his legs and his skull on his cheek and because he fell into a seven meter deep pit in the, uh, during that's his visit. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. And he says because there were aluminium sheets lying on the floor, which raises a question, if it was a cyber attack, what were aluminium sheets doing on the floor, lying on the floor? Or was there an explosion there? I think we know there's more to come out. Parham, yeah, thank you sure. very much.